Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about uh, the PF and a way to interact with Revit with your uh, WF window. So let's uh, go in the main project in here and this is the main project. I'm using the library uh, econrev.y.task. I'm gonna put a link in the description is uh, free and open source so uh, here's my main uh, my main app i'm uh, enabling the Revit task service to initialize that service and to dispose in the end that basically i have the this interface i Revit tasks that's gonna enable uh, my wpf or window to run some uh, tasks so I can run in the Revit context without any uh, exception. So the library is going to manage all the uh, creation of the extension, uh, external event and so on. So this is my main uh, view. That's a really simple one. I'm going to, uh, let's change to this one so I can roll back and uh, create from scratch. So let's go in my in the, this command, let's just each and to remove uh, this one. I kind of forgot. Uh, yes, this one. Just drop here my main view in here. Yes, this is my main view. Uh, already injecting the e Revit task in here. I have a simple uh, relay command with a sync functionality, and here's my a basic task that's running uh, and gonna show in the title uh, basically my the name of my document or the title of my doc so yeah let's just add in here a new views views yes main view yep and uh, let's show this one and in here i'm gonna add the app and wrap task that basically is the same as this one because this is static in this case so yeah if i run this and show here gonna appear this one if i click gonna show the name of my document or the title of my document that's the basic that's how it's working so yeah let's uh, change some stuff in here just to make sure that i can when i click in here i'm gonna select uh, elements and show uh, the image and other stuff so let's go uh, if I go in here I can for example let's copy this one let's move this here and I'm gonna let's use this one yes just to have some reference in the run I can have the Y application that I can have all the ref uh, variables so yeah have the white document the document the view and the selection yep and if i use something like get uh epic pick pick objects something like that yep if i build this and, and let's close and open it again clicking here should appear a way to select the element and if i click in here mm, yeah so i click it is selecting yes if i click in here should select that element let's show in my console yes that uh element uh reference yes i uh, yes that's what i want uh element id dot names that's good enough yes let's close and try again if i click in here should appear the name of my element that I select, like for example, this roof. Yes, metal roof. Yeah, that's it. So great, everything is working. Uh, but have a small issue. If I click in here and press escape, should uh, break. And if I have uh, maybe another thing here, sh gonna throw an exception here. Uh, my boot is gonna ignore that exception, but yeah. That's a thing that's happening. Uh, and other thing that I can uh, do as well, if I click in here, I should make this uh, disappear or hide and show again. So 
uh, the user cannot have the option to click in here. Yeah, that's gonna break some stuff. Let's break the workflow. So let's try that. I'm gonna use the try finally. So something like this. I'm gonna use this dot uh, height. Yes. And in the end, I'm gonna use this dot uh, show. Yeah. Basically, gonna hide the this main view and gonna show in the when this finish. And if this gets some exception, I'm gonna uh, execute the show as well. So yeah, if I go in here, click that, click in here, should it disappear. And if I click or press escape, should show again. So yeah, I can use some uh, logic like that. That's gonna be great for this example. So yeah, uh, another thing that I can do, um, let's see. Okay, let's go in here. I'm gonna change this, this one to uh, stack. Yeah, stack panel, gonna be good enough. And let's add a grid in here, just with a margin. With four, it's good. And let's add image in here, yes. Let's select the source as I'm gonna bind with my icon. Yep, that's gonna be okay. Let's set uh, a height like one two meter and uh, width as well, just to make sure it's not gonna be gigantic. So yeah, uh, let's close, open this, and should have a space for a image. So yeah. Let's now uh, have some fun with, uh, okay, mm, I think after that, let's return this element. I can do that. And in here, gonna have a rabbit element. Yes. That's gonna be okay. And what else I can do? I can add in the title, for example, equal rev elements and the name yes show in my title I click in here click that click in this guy should appear the name of my element now let's make show uh that same image when you click in here that image i'm gonna make sure that's gonna appear in my wpf yes so let's go uh, to get that, I have to need to uh, make some stuff. For example, in the element um, element type, uh, yeah, could be this var dot. I have the option get uh, preview image, yes, and I can use this to get that same image. So yeah. To get that, I need, I'm gonna open a new uh, Revit task to run in the Revit context, because yeah, that's gonna make sure that's not gonna break anything. So if I do this, uh, let me think, let var element, just to make sure, L if element is element Type uh, element type, yes, and let's return um, element type get preview image. Yes, I need to add a size in here. This size, a uh, new, let's add one. This size something is wrong here let's copy this i guess i have a double reference yes that's good uh and what else i need to return a new if it does not exist that's gonna be okay and let's go here var um Revit element type e image. Yes. 
that's good now i'm gonna go in the icon equal revit this one and to convert i'm gonna use my y library that's gonna convert this bitmap to the bitmap source yep uh, but have an uh, issue here uh, this probably not gonna be a uh, element types uh, most of the time gonna be a uh, 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 elements so yep because I'm picking an uh, element here so let's try to get the type the type ID yes and actually let's mm, let me think element type equal documents in the documents uh, document equal element yes this one and uh, get element with this id to get that uh, let me think through this mm. let's yeah mm. if i do this should work i'm not checking for anything but uh should work uh let's do this and try make sure that everything is working uh, if we click in here clicking this uh, tree should appear that uh image in the in my icon as well so yeah if i add a small size in here just to show uh, 32 and try again with this one should show this pixel art or anyway yeah that's what's happening if i add a bigger one sh nothing should change i guess so let's try again click here click this one yep that's my three and this is my the same as revit is showing and we click oh what happened that was strange that's a big lag anyway uh i can select this guy and should appear here as well yeah everything is working like should be great uh one thing i want to change as well uh is this one i'm gonna put this uh, when my my WPF loads, so I can right away uh, update my title with the name of my document. I should add this async, uh, and this should basically work because it's one gonna run in Revit context, and the, I'm not gonna have any issue. Yeah, let's build this. Just to show. Yeah, if I click in here, should update directly with my the name of my document. And yeah. And everything is working like should be. And yeah, anyway, that's basically what I want to show in this video. Uh a really simple way to use these uh iRevit tasks uh, using WPF. And yeah, uh I'm using my other my other library that this uh, Revit MVVM that have this this one. Yep, this uh, I async uh, relay command that you can use as well. It's free and open source. I'm gonna put everything in the description. And yep, uh, I'm gonna update this in the main this project in the GitHub and I'm gonna put in the description as well. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.